To blaze. Means to bluff. Name that movie. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And if you can't, I'm disappointed in you. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Juicy content. So juicy. Turn the camera to the bell button on the game squad. Yeah, if you can't name that movie, you have you've had a sad life. That movie is one of the greatest movies of all time. Of all time, hilarious. Anyways, I I'd be interested to see if people that aren't from like Western cinema. You know what? I'd be interested to see if they get it. I'd be I'd be interested to see an Indian attempt at a remake of The Princess no. Bride. Come on, that'd be fun. Just you know, I don't if, want to see anybody do that. If Nawazad and Siddiqui, that no, that movie shouldn't have worked in the first place. I know, but it would be fun to see. But it Come did. on, no, it wouldn't work. I would. It would work. Whether it worked or not, it would still be fun to I see. I wouldn't want to see it. Yeah, I would. Uh, but uh, today we are reacting to. I think it's one of those. I think we've seen them break down. Remember, we saw the director break down the the cardboard boxes. It was really no, boring. The scene from Tamasha, the the bar. Yes, scene, right. This is the director, I believe the director of Barfy. It's breaking down a scene in, from Barfy. Priyanka? Uh, yes. Uh, well, it's Barfy. Uh, so it's Anurag Basu uh, on Barfy. So uh, I believe he's gonna be breaking down a scene. I, you know what I hope it is? I hope it's the scene where um, he's, where Barfy's with her and he's coaxing her and trying to make her laugh and make her happy when they're in the little house together. That's my hope. Here we go. I am Anurag Kashyap. I am... <laughs> nice. I am Anurag Basu. I'm here to talk about my favorite scene in my film, Buffy. If you ask me which is your favorite scene in Buffy, it's very tough to decide. So I've decided uh, for the scene, uh, which was the first scene I shot for the film. And uh, it's very important what scene you select as your first scene because it sets the mood for the film. Somehow, there was this real life incident of uh, a girl called Razia, and um, um, who is uh, who was there in Sanskarna, which is Gorekhpur near my place, and uh, a different mute guy, Murtaza. And uh, so uh, there was this incident in the scene, which I'll come later, which I saw and which uh, gave birth to Buffy. So the first scene I shot was where PC comes home, um, Ranbir's home. So I remember PC uh, and Arcade didn't, they didn't want to start with this scene and they wanted something easy, something montage and so that you know they can build it up. But I thought, I will reshoot again but we let's start with this scene. So catch the bull by the horn and then we started with this scene. I remember PC um, was in the van and uh, she was not coming out. And said, Tala, this week I'm looking like Sachin Tendulkar. I don't. Know. <laughs> so, she, she, so, but finally we all decided, no, this is the scene we want to shoot. And uh, the first shot is of the film I took was when PC slowly enters. Yes. And then we have kept a lot of property, you know, in the um, in the house. Like, you know, we, we so it was not pre-decided. You will see this one ring from the fan, and there was this hamster wheel in the corner. There were a lot of stuff. Uh, I've told my art director and my assistants, just think about many things, you know, and it was all over the room actually. And then we thought which one we sh she should see and of course the hamster and the wheel was standing out and <laughs> the hamster was not moving. <laughs> and uh, PC came once and he was quiet and we, he was not moving and uh, I think it took me at least one hour. And PC walked till hamster again and again and he was not moving, he was just standing still, it was really funny. So finally, uh, PC walks, and uh, so there were small things, you know, which will make the character, which will uh, to be in love with uh, the place, and she will decide to stay back. You have to have small, small things, which will otherwise, you know, she will panic and she will go try to go back home. Then she says Susu, which one be doesn't hear, and then mm -hmm. he doesn't know what she's saying, and uh, he tries to hold hand, and then if she's not holding hand, how she will go out? They were all improvised. We were discussing, we were thinking. And then he just takes out the pocket and then she holds the pocket, goes outside. I think then Ranbir opens the Nara, it was really cute. You know, it was like, you know, I'm doing to my daughter, young daughter that time. It was just, I could see my daughter in general because she is, uh, uh, she will see small, small, she will just pick up the skirt, 
mm-hmm. and we will open the nala. She went inside. The last scene we shot was uh, of that day, is when um, they both are lying down and Jinmay slowly goes there and holds this pinky finger. And that was the moment I saw our ah, picture bandi. That was the last shot I took. I mean, chaa chaa, ठीक है. We are safe. Otherwise, you know, it is making a film like it's like. Entering a dark tunnel without any torch, everything is dark, and suddenly that shot gave me light. And the end of the tunnel, I saw a picture of Nathan. So that was it. And the next day was a tough scene. We shot is that's the second part of the scene where um, Ranbir comes running and he sees the so exterior shot I took later. So he sees that all his neighbors and everybody is looking up, some chaos happening inside, some sound he goes inside, and Jimin is going crazy. When we thought um, of doing it, and um, I remember PC said, you know, to uh, we said let's do it, you know, we'll just do it. And PC, small small characterization of PC, I'll uh, just mention in the film, mm, and also Ranbir, which we uh, actually, which was decided in this scene, and then we carried in the whole film. So this first shell was very important. So PC comes here and he's she's going buzzer, she's going door door door, banging the door, and he's going crazy trying to hold, and finally she bites him. So this is the shot I saw of Razia and Murtaza. Razia was out of control, and all the teachers of Samskar Dham were calling some Murtaza. Murtaza ko bola, Murtaza ko bola. We didn't know who this Murtaza guy was. And then Murtaza comes in, and Murtaza was a different mute peon of that Samskar Dham institution. And he comes in and controls that girl, and that's the magic and the chemistry I saw between both of them, which gave birth to Burfi. And uh, so there was no clip. There was no preparation. The only preparation we did, we introduced Chilmil to Rasia, and we did, did this first schedule. First schedule was workshop for us, play for us, everything for us. That mirror thing was again improvised there. So we stopped till there. We didn't know what to do after this. We knew the Sawli song will come in, but how it will begin. So all the things which Rasia liked in real life, when you try to put it in this way, uh, see. So there was a small mirror, the the reflection, dancing of the reflection. She also comes out with a small mirror. That's how the chemistry starts between both of them, which was a base for the whole film between both of them. So uh, it was tough. It's, I know uh, there are many more favorite scenes of uh, people like, but I love this more because this uh, made the film what film it is. Um, and small, small characters. I mean, Jinmil picked the actually, which was first take, second take, third take. So first was the twitching of the nose like this and going like this. All this, you know, it's, it just added. And we said the walk. We asked uh, PC to walk on her toes, not to touch her heel on the uh, floor. So it became an awkward walk. And then we face was not looking. Face was now PC was not looking. She was still looking Priyanka. Then we st- added some uh, cotton birds inside, like you know, put up. And uh, so I think all these things were decided during this scene. Mm-hmm. If you like the video, please subscribe to Film Companion. I was listening to directors talk. Yep. What's up? Yeah, I, did. Oh. I said yeah. <laughs> I love you said I love listening to directors talk. I was like, yep. Yeah, I love listening. I also love that most of he's saying a lot of it was improvised. Yeah, it sounds like he didn't do a lot of um, prep in terms of rehearsal mm-hmm. with these two characters, um, so that their interactions would be like meeting each other for the first time, which is good, mm-hmm. uh, especially for an actor. Yeah, uh, well, it's good and bad. Obviously, rehearsal is good. At points, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but then also for certain roles where you're actually meeting somebody for the first time, to have that spontaneous yeah. reaction, yeah, is great. Uh, but I did love that there was a lot of like the the whole pocket thing mm-hmm. was improvised by yeah. Ren Beer. The uh, the did you say the bite was improvised by yeah? That she just she naturally did that um, because that's what she felt like doing at that time. And obviously all of the physicality things she did, obviously none of that can be scripted. That's just coming out of the nature of her being the character. Mm -hmm. As well as, I love the fact, it says a lot about him as a director, that he was willing to take an hour to get the hamster shot. That's why most people hate working with animals. It's true, because they control everything and they upstage the actors. And and also here in Hollywood, they have a they have, a, they have a, a union, a union to protect the animals. Yeah, so yeah. They, they can't work. They're not as bad as children. Children have the most strict rules. Yeah, here, especially infants here in Hollywood um, about their stuff. But animals have pretty strict regulations. No, uh, but I personally would love to work with a director who's like. 
we're getting the shot with the hamster because we know that's gonna work. And so you just have to keep coming in and we need to wait for the hamster to walk. And so we're just gonna do it till we get the hamster walk. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it says a lot about the director um, to, um, one, that he also does that and then also lets the actors improvise. Yeah. And do their own thing. Yeah. I like that. I do too. Um, it, it, it's, there's good and bads to everything. There's good and bads to how different directors work. Yeah. Certain directors are, you will say what's on the script. Like give you a freaking line reading. Yeah. You will, you will do that. Like, you will not improvise. Yes. Like there are some things, you know, I remember DiCaprio said this at a Q and A about Tarantino, that there are some times where Quentin wants a line done the way he wants it written. Mm -hmm. It's like, I wrote it this way and I want you to deliver the line this way. And so you're going to deliver the line literally the way he wants it to It's their film. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they, you the know? director is king. Yeah, director is king. Or yes. queen. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the, uh, there's good and bad to both, because obviously if they produce good content, then it's, it right. doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what other films has this director done um, that we should know about? Because uh, he did Barfi, Life, of, Life in a Metro. Life in a Metro, Detective Jaga. Uh, not, he hasn't done a ton. No, but I remember... Shamatab. Oh, he did... Sh I remember being really deeply impressed with uh, his cinematographer. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned the cinematographer's work on another film as well. Just beautiful, beautiful lighting and cinematography in Barfi. And I, it's really important. He said something that's very revealing, which is true of most most films is that even though you've got a really clear script and the director has a really clear vision Scorsese talks about this how it's really going in a tunnel without a light sometimes yeah and they when they finally get a shot they 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 are beginning to get an idea of what the film is going to feel like yeah. and that's that's important to remember if you're on set no matter what you're doing if you're you, if you're on set the director calls the shots and you also have to give the director breathing room and recognize that the director sometimes is just making decisions on the fly and is pretty freaking scared. Mm -hmm. Directors are usually flying blind <laughs> yeah, and they're scared. So, uh, and, and they, they may look like they know what they're doing sometimes and don't. So just give them all the support they want and do what they're asking you to do. And a director like this obviously is clearly, he knows what he's doing because yeah. Barfi's end result is pretty darn great yeah yeah that was great uh let us know more behind the scenes with different directors uh from different stuff that we've seen because we we enjoy stuff Love like this technical stuff so Come. let us know down below